Cardano is under attack. Despite being a top 10 cryptocurrency, it cannot be located. Additionally, Cardano is absent from DAP Radar, a well-known website that evaluates blockchains based on volume and users. We can review this list to find blockchains like the one DP Shilden asked, are there any blockchains you've never heard of because it doesn't really make sense. Cardano is not listed on Crypto Slam, a very well-known website that displayed the top blockchain by NFT volume over the previous 24 hours. Additionally, we can observe that throughout the previous 24 hours if we visit OpenCFT.io. Cardano has performed 614,000 ADA. 280,000 is about how many? So, if we go back to this list, Cardano ought to be here, in position 6, immediately following BNB. However, they didn't include it here for some reason. Even if they only completed $15 worth of NFT volume in the previous day, it is included on this list. It's a joke. This is perplexing. Why is this taking place? And to add to that, Uniswap was listed as one of the top 25 crypto communities in a research just released by Masari. A second time, they omitted Cardano from the Solana Ethereum BNB avalanche. I find it hard to believe that Cardano is one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies and has one of the most active communities, particularly on Twitter. Run a poll on Twitter, Cardano will win nearly without fail. Why is this occurring, then? Fortunately, Ryan Salukas of Masari recently spoke with Charles Hoskinson at the Masari Mainnet conference, so we have an answer. And Charles Hoskinson's comments are quite fascinating. So let's watch this video together while you munch on some popcorn. Do you believe VCs are unaware of the Cardano ecosystem? Some do and some don't. A 16Z is unquestionably a family office, while others are like Cardano. It just depends on the area. However, the fact that we didn't is the problem. Why do you suppose that is? Because we lacked omics and pawns for them? Let's just be honest, the way the great majority of venture capitalists approach it is liquidity. So they ask, when will the token be released? What happened to the market? Will it be for the token? Do I receive a distribution sooner? How do I leave that distribution early when the store personnel enters? There weren't many pawns available for genomics, as you've seen in a number of layer 1 and depth cases, I won't name names, where they launched the market at an extremely high valuation, the insiders dumped, they went down, and they made off with a lot of cash. Additionally, the distribution of Cardano was fair. It has one of the best Gini coefficients among the IDS. In terms of distribution, it is one of the most widely used currencies. Since you guys track insider distribution on your platform, which is larger than 50%, there was no insider distribution to go and sell some of these layer ones. As a result, if you're a venture capitalist, VC, you can think, oh yeah, if I get involved in this, and I get 10% of the supply, and I might get 100x in 6 months, this is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. They turn to face Cardano. Where is that opportunity? They ask. It doesn't exist, we asserted. The distribution is equitable. So I have nothing to offer you. But, you know, they'll become involved naturally because they thrive on greed. And that is what their fiduciary duty to their LPs is. As a result, they become involved when you see many Cardano dApps receiving valuations in the billions of dollars because they have something to connect to and invest in. Therefore, 2023 or 2024, but it's crucial to note that we have our own venture capital firm and an ecosystem catalyst with $500 million in IDA side investments. And it has already supported between 12 to 1300 various Cardano projects. And it allows in between 60 and 70 million people annually, which is a reasonable number given the ecosystem's demand for incubation acceleration. The main problem we face in our industry is strange and outside values. There are enterprises that may be worth $20 million or less at pre-money since the founders receive a billion dollar valuation, for example. That is not wholesome. The issue is that they anticipate a response, which is problematic. Where does the return originate then? 
It originates with the retail investor, who is duped and quickly loses 90% of their worth. I have enough experience in this field to realize that's unsustainable and invites regulation. And eventually, it will be sealed up. Therefore, the only ecosystems that will endure are those that respect hard labor and those that truly invest the necessary time into creating goods, communities, and true value, among other things. Including, but not limited to, what World Mobile is doing, as well as what many other members of the Cardona ecosystem are doing. Numerous projects have adopted this perspective in the crypto world. And there are the ones, like Bitcoin and, to be honest, Ethereum, which theory was financed for 18 million, I think will still be around in 10 years and be among the top 10. It's simple to overlook that entire ecosystem, Charles, and I appreciate you joining us. Yeah. Also instructing me. I guarantee I'll write at least three sentences this year, and I'll also be filling in the knowledge gaps I've made so glaringly obvious in my annual reports by not providing you enough coverage. That's okay. That's immensely better than zero out of 160 pages, right? We had 25 minutes at least. It's all right. I'm grateful for this. Here are three major takeaways from that movie, Charles, venture capital firms ignore Cardano and don't promote it because it wasn't a quick way for them to generate money. Cardano moves quite steadily and slowly. Charles Hoskinson, however, claimed that unlike some of these other blockchains, it does not have pawn genomics. Venture capital firms seek to have complete control over these initiatives once they become involved. With Cardano, though, it was not possible. If we look at Ms. Sari's report, we can see that insider venture capital firms had a significant allocation to chains like Biden, Solon, and Avalanche while projects like Cardano and Ethereum have a very tiny amount, making it a very slow profit. They don't really push the Cardano story because of this. In addition, Cardano isn't listed on FTX or Gemini, which suggests that it probably shouldn't be among the top 10 cryptocurrencies just yet. We can speculate that these exchanges want to protect their investments in Solana and Bitcoin and Ethereum, respectively, while Gemini wants to protect the interests of Bitcoin and Ethereum. The fact that it is not listed on these significant marketplaces and is not being promoted by Wall Street is somewhat strange, or perhaps not so strange. Charles Hoskinson added that only those strong projects that create genuine value and preserve true communities would endure. Unexpectedly, he did state that he thinks Bitcoin and Ethereum would exist in 10 years. By the way, Charles Hoskinson is one of the Ethereum co-founders, in case you didn't know. And Ryan Salukas was the finest part. Out of 160 pages, like I promised, I'll write at least three sentences this year. That's reasonable, it's measurably better than nothing, right? As a result, while much of the Cardano story remains hidden by powerful interests, the Cardano community is still expanding. And certainly, Cardano adopted a different strategy from practically everyone else in the cryptocurrency industry. They took their time and went extremely slowly, yet they managed to create something that very few projects in the area have. That is real decentralization, then. With more than 3,000 different staking pools, Cardano is currently among the projects with the least amount of centralization. I must accept that Cardano is currently not as popular as Ethereum, Bitcoin, or Solana, but I'm not here to argue that it is better or worse. What I'm trying to convey is that it's quite strange that a top 10 cryptocurrency like Cardano isn't included in rankings on well-known websites and market aggregators, but this is definitely a short-lived phenomenon. Some positive news if you're a fan of Cardano, BNB, or Solana and want to learn more about staking opportunities on those platforms, watch this video on the top three cryptocurrencies sustained during a bear market. Follow-up DAP Radar, which we mentioned in the beginning, recently tweeted that they would be adding Cardano to their website. 